But the air show is also about celebrating the history of air power and those who have served. And about a dozen veterans will be in the crowds this weekend, thanks to the Providence NVA Medical Center. Our Austin Cheney is live out at the Robbins flight line this morning with more on what it will mean to those veterans to be there this weekend. Good morning, Austin. And good morning, Caitlin. You're exactly right. The Carl Vincent VA Medical Center in Dublin plans to take about a dozen veterans out to the air show. This morning, Suzanne Lawler shows why it's so special for these guys to know these planes inside and out. And then it was off to Vietnam. That was another eye-opening experience. This little George board hadn't been much out of the state. And here I was going to Vietnam. 72-year-old John Hamrick spent his early 20s fighting in the war as a chopper pilot. And they assigned me to the 173rd Assault Helicopter Company. Many of his memories are stored in this photo album. That's me with a couple of guys I went to flight school with. He was on the front lines, running dangerous missions as a chief warrant officer. We flew troops in and pulled them out. And I've gone in under fire and we've gone in, I, you know, when we picked them up, shooting, coming out. Hard times. Yet even in war, John found a sort of peace in the sky. It's like a day like today with a few clouds. I feel like there were times I could just reach out and touch the face of God. I mean, it was just that beautiful. John says he came back from Vietnam with 38 medals, and one of those was for valor. So he took that experience, went back to school, and then became an air traffic controller. I have worked with probably 30 airplanes on the frequency at one time. With all of those hours in and around planes, you can imagine John is looking forward to this year's air show. He says he's attended a few others, and every time, he's amazed. It was even like when I went to it the last time I went to it. Uh, I love being a part of that. I love being a part of the military. I'm looking forward to seeing you know, to fly some of the new airplanes I haven't seen up close. And for this military man that served his country, there is something else he'll feel when the modern planes roar through the sky. Pride. I bleed red, white, and blue. And when they, they are flying, I know what they're flying. That's for freedom. And uh, I appreciate that. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now, you may have noticed that John lost his leg and he's in a wheelchair. That was not from his time in the service, but rather from complications due to knee surgery. So it's a beautiful start to the day here at Robbins Air Force Base. We're just a couple days away from the air show and can't be more excited. Caitlin, we'll send it back over to you. Thank you so much, Austin. It is going to be a great event this weekend. And you can find